Catherine in Paris, Princess of Wales stuns in shimmery blue gown at a British gala dinner. Prince William and Kate's whirlwind visit to Paris has come to an end. The Duke and Duchess of Cambridge are heading back to the UK, where they'll be reunited with their children, Prince George and Princess Charlotte, and no doubt share anecdotes from the trip. The event also marked the first time the couple visited Paris since the death of his mother Diana in Paris almost 20 years ago. On Friday night, Prince William and his wife, Kate, had dinner hosted by Her Majesty's Ambassador to France at the British Embassy in Paris, with the Ambassador and said UK relations with France would be undamaged by the ongoing Brexit process. Prince William and Princess Catherine were both spotted smiling as they mingled with guests at the British Embassy that night. After Prince William made headlines with his dad dancing during a booze-fueled lads skiing holiday last week, Kate ensured all eyes were on her as she stole the show in her range of sophisticated outfits. She walked the red carpet in an icy blue floor-length dress that makes her look exactly like a certain Disney princess from Frozen. Middleton is normally not one for designer logos, but in Paris, she couldn't resist donning the ultimate French brand, Chanel. Kate showed off her sartorial prowess, wowing in not one but two evening gowns for the occasion. The Duchess turned to her favorite designers, Jenny Packham and Alexander McQueen, for the glittering event. Her logo top handle bag and belt perfectly completed her skirt suit outfit while remaining true to her polished aesthetic. To accompany the already sparkling ensemble, Kate wore glistening heels, opted for chic and sophisticated diamonds and pearls on loan from Queen Elizabeth II. We've obviously seen this color on her before, she seems to keep it in rotation in her wardrobe, and she looks fantastic every time. Prince William, dressed in a black and white tuxedo for the event, gave an address from a podium during the official dinner. He said, The connections between our nations run deep. Ties of history, ties of values, ties of friendship and family. This deep friendship between the UK and France, forged in sweat and blood, is one that will endure. Continuing their royal tour, Kate and Prince William then took a trip to the city's most iconic landmark, the Eiffel Tower. Kate wore a red and blue dotted coat dress by Chanel, which was clinched at the waist with the belt, and carried a quilted maroon Chanel bag. Will and Kate kicked off their second day in Paris with a visit to Les Invalades, a hospital in Paris that works with veterans and victims of France's recent terrorist attacks. Here, the royals chat with two patients at Les Invalades who were wounded in the attacks. The royal couple also greeted the crowds as they visited the military hospital during an official visit. The royal couple then met with rugby players from local schools. Will and Kate watched as the children practiced their rugby drills at the Trocadero. This was part of an event to emphasize the strong relationship between British and French young people. The royal couple toured the Impressionist Gallery at the museum and saw a number of pieces that will be displayed at the Tate in London later on. Next up, a rugby match. The Duke and Duchess watched the Wales vs. France rugby game at the Stade de France on day two in Paris. Duchess Kate changed into a bright red coat with black gloves for the occasion. Before leaving Paris, William and Kate will be guests at the Six Nations rugby match between Wales and France at the Stade de France.